Hey everyone, welcome to another new lesson in this course. So today we are going to look at how we can set up Python with IntelliJ IDEA, which is a popular IDE. Now, until now we have seen many ways to set up Python with different IDEs, right? So we have already seen how you can use it with Jupyter Notebook. You can also write your Python scripts using the default command or shell for Python, right? Today, we are going to look at another popular ID, which is called IntelliJ IDEA. Now, you must have been knowing if you have worked in any Java development or automation using Selenium, we use IntelliJ IDEA throughout, right? But if you don't know, you can also use it for Python scripts, okay? So let's see how we can do that. Now, the first step in setting up IntelliJ IDEA for Python is to obviously install your Python SDK. Right, so this we have already done. If you have not seen it or if you are not aware of it, you can go back to my previous video where we have shown you how you can set up Python on your Windows machine. Now, after you do that, we need to install a plugin and an IntelliJ IDEA which will help us to write the Python scripts and also interpret or use it as an interpreter, right? In order to compile or run our Python scripts, okay? Now, if you go to this plugins section right so there are different ways of going into this plugin section which i will show you later but right from the home screen you can go to the plugins okay and here you can search for python right and you will find this python community edition okay so this python plugin provides you smart editing for your python scripts within intelj idea now go ahead and install it it should be installed in a few seconds once it's installed okay just let's wait for this to be installed and so that's done that's installed right and once it is synced to your IntelliJ idea go to new project and now here in new project among all the options you will also see an option for python okay and that will show your default Python SDK, right? So for me, it's 3.10. Depending on what version you have installed, it will show you that version, okay? So just select that if it is not auto-selected and click on next. And it is pretty similar to how you create any project here. You need to provide a project name and the location would already be selected, right? So let's say Python scripts here okay and let's click on finish so it will start setting up this python project okay here we can write our python script so it is indexing with python sdk in the background okay and once that is completed now what we can do is we can create different python scripts here directly okay so either you can create a module directory or you can directly create a python file okay so as you can see there are three options here python unit test python file and python stub i'm not going to discuss about unit test and stub right now but we'll stick to python file right so let's write a simple script which will print the length of the string right which we have passed to the script so let's say length or we'll say string length right so that's our name and as you can see that is the string length dot py which is a python script okay so here you're going to write your python script like any id which you use for your own languages right so here i am going to assign a string equals to hello world okay and then I'm going to print the length of the string. So don't worry about all these functions and uh, the syntax. We're going to discuss uh, in the coming up sessions. But for now, I'm just trying to show you how you can create a simple Python script and IntelliJ IDEA, okay? And here we'll say length of string, okay? So that should print the length of this particular string, which is hello world, okay? So running is pretty simple as you do it for any other programming language. So 
right click on the py file and click on done okay so that should show you the output on the console which is 11 so the length of the string is 11 right so similarly you can create any python scripts uh, in this project which you have created and you can start coding or creating your scripts in intellj idea with python